Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hi everyone and welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. I'm Catherine. And I'm Sarah. We were just talking the other day about the running of the bulls. And the question that came to mind is, why would anyone do this for real? The only reason I can think is bragging rights <laughs> or suicide mission. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem a bit crazy, but obviously a lot of people find it uh, amazing because they go and do it every year. Actually, I read in 2011, 25,000 people ran the Running of the Bulls. Yes. Wow. Over the seven-day or six-day period. It's very popular. (laughs) Clearly. Just to set it up for those who are wondering what we're talking about, this is an event that's held every year in Pamplona, the capital of Navarra, Spain, between July 6th and 14th, and it starts every morning, 8 a.m., Three minutes of pure adrenaline. Pure adrenaline. Uh It's about a half mile run with six fighting bulls, two herds of bullocks, which are castrated bulls, Uh just chasing you like mad. (laughs) And you do your best to get out the way. Hopefully, yes. That's the goal. (laughs) That's the goal. Like you said, it's part of the San Fermin Festival, which honors the patron saint of Navarra. Uh And the history behind the actual running of the bulls isn't totally clear, but... Some say it began when bullfighting became popular, Mm -hmm. and the only way to get the bulls to the rings was to get them to run through the streets. But others say it began in the 14th century when um, bulls were being brought to market, and the men would rush them through the streets by sort of running along beside them. Right. And at some point, they obviously moved from running behind and beside to in front of the bulls. Yes. How they got there is still the question. It's a macho thing, you know. You don't really see too many women involved in that. Not too many, but there are some women that do run it. If you want to attend the event, we've got three tips for you. The first one is where to stand and where to watch it. You want to get there early, probably at least 5 a.m. Some people say earlier than that. And the best places to stand would be either at the beginning or the end of the event. Beginning would be at the museum, in front of the museum on Cuesta de Santo Domingo. And the end would be obviously at the bullfighting arena itself. If you're looking to see injuries, and who isn't, you (laughs) want to stand on Calle Estafeta because that's a place where the turn is kind of sharp and so there's a tendency for injuries to take place. Yes. And also you can watch from above the street on Mm -hmm. a balcony. There are balconies sort of like what you see in New Orleans. So Uh a lot of the... Um, People will allow you to watch from their balcony. Some of them will make you pay, but they'll include breakfast. So a lot of people tend to do that. Yeah, safer. Yeah, it's safer and you get a great view from above the street. But the next tip we're going to talk about is if you want to watch an actual bullfight. These tend to sell out way in advance. Mm -hmm. Um, But you can go to the arena at night after the day's bullfight. And there may be tickets for the next day's fight. So you can possibly get tickets that way. But... The best thing to do is to plan way ahead and get tickets that way. Uh-huh. Um, or you might be able to get tickets from a scalper, but... You you know, we wouldn't recommend that too We much. wouldn't <laughs> recommend that. So. Yeah. The bulls that they run that morning are the same ones that will be in the arena. That day, That yes. day in around 6 o'clock. So, and this will run to about 11 at night. Yes. So that's around the time, hopefully, there would be tickets available for the next day. Yes, that would yeah. be about when the box office would open. Okay, great. And our third tip is for those of you who want to participate... Here are a couple of things you want to keep in mind. You want to be over 18. Yes. And be sober, not drunk. Sober, sober, <laughs> sober. That's the way to go. And if you happen to fall in the run, please do not get up. You want to lie in the fetal position until the bulls have passed over you, and then it'll be safe for you to get up and continue. Yes. And also, if you fall down, or even if you don't fall down, <laughs> once the bulls have passed, your run is over. Oh, really? You're not supposed to keep chasing them because apparently that can attract their attention and they could turn around and start running the other direction, which can be very dangerous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's something you don't want at all. You don't want them to turn around and start chasing just (laughs) you. So once the bulls have passed, just stop running and and be glad that you're safe and everything's finished. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that wraps up our visit to Pamplona, Spain, and the running of the bulls. If you've actually ever been or have actually run the running of the bulls, we would love to see some pictures so you can post them on our Facebook page or tweet us some. And the addresses for all this is at the end of the podcast, and we'll see you next time on The Coolest Stuff on the Planet. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.